welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to be starting off with a clean face as usual and I'm going to start with my Stila One Step Correct Primer. So I'm just going to emulsify this in my hands and then just go ahead and apply it all over my face. Sorry that my camera is focusing in and out. It was doing some funky things on this filming day. But I'm actually going to be using two foundations today. I am using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte as well as my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And I'm just going to put those on the back of my hand and mix them together. Now in the fall time, I find that this combination of the matte and the luminous foundation is just a perfect mix and gives me a really nice finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff this out with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. And I usually buff it out all around my face and then in my T-zone and nose area, I like to press it in. Now I'm going to prime my eyes. I am going to conceal my under eyes and do a little bit of highlighting. I'm using the Naked Skin Weightless Concealer in Light Neutral. I am absolutely in love with this doe foot applicator. It's so flexible and it really lets me get underneath my eyes really well and I just love the feel of it. Now to highlight, I'm actually gonna be using this L'Oreal Luminous Highlighter and I just use that on my forehead, my nose, my chin, and on my cupid's bow. Sorry I didn't show it, but the writing's all rubbed off anyways. Now to blend out my concealer, I'm actually going to use both my Beauty Blender and my Morphe G1. I'm going to use my Morphe G1 for mostly my eye area, and then I'm going to use a damp Beauty Blender to blend out my under eye concealer. So you just want to get this wet, run it under water, and then I usually squeeze it out and then wrap a towel around it and do another squeeze. Now immediately after blending out my concealer, I like to set everything with this NYX HD finishing powder and it's in the shade Banana. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter and I use a ton of product for this as you can see. So I just like to put all of that underneath my under eyes to really make sure that it bakes. Um, and I usually end up wiping this off at the end but you just want to make sure that you have enough on there to really seal in that highlight and your I'm using this NYX matte bronzer in medium to do my contouring. I'm just using a kabuki brush from e.l.f. and I'm just following the natural contour of my face making sure I get my neck and my forehead. I just want to make sure everything is blended. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and of course I'm using my tried and true Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade taupe which is also ash blonde depending on when you buy them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my brows. Um, as you can see, my blonde eyebrows are patchy and they're super light blonde in some areas and darker blonde in others. So this is a must step for me. Even if I go out wearing no makeup, I will put on brows. After I do my outline with my brow is, I'm just gonna go in with a NYX Tame and Frame brow pomade and just fill everything in. And then I'm going to lock it up with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up that powder that we talked about before and just make sure that there's no loose powder. Now moving on to eyeshadow, I'm of course going to be using my Morphe shadows. I love this case because it's magnetized and you can just put the individual shadows in there and move them around how you want. I love it. So I'm starting off with my Sigma Tapered Blending Eyeshadow Brush. It's a nice big fluffy brush, so any fluffy brush will do. And I'm going to go ahead with this glisten shade, which is light, and just put it all over my lid. As you can see, this just gives a nice neutral transition shade. Now using this Sigma shader brush, I'm going to go in with this super intense orange. And this is called Spice. And then I am just going to pack this all over my lid. I'm not really going above my crease. I'm just kind of keeping it on the main area of my lid. Using another blending brush from Sigma, I'm using the E25 this time, which is a little bit shorter blending brush. And I'm just going to take this deep skin color, which is like a chocolatey brown. And now I am going to blend this in on my crease and kind of just combine those two colors. With this e.l.f. contour eyeshadow brush, I am just going to take a slightly darker shade. I am using Marbleized. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this again and just add another color into my crease area. The more colors you add and blend out, it's just gonna give you that much more dimension. So I typically use probably three to five different shades of eyeshadow when I'm creating an eye look. 
unless I'm trying to keep it super simple and get out the door really quickly. So as you can see here, we have a lot of nice colors stacked on one another, but we're not done yet because we still need to add a highlight shade. So we're gonna just take this little shader brush and my tried and true trick is using some Vaseline or eye drops and I just use a little dab on the brush to get it wet and then I put that in whatever color I'm using. So I'm going back with that original glisten color and just highlighting my brow bone as well as putting a little bit on uh, the lower part of my lid and stopping this right at the center of my eye. Now while I let that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner Pen and I'm just gonna create a very basic winged eyeliner. Now we're still not done with the eyeshadow because of course we have to blend everything out. So I'm taking my Sigma E40, which is my favorite blending brush, and I am just going to blend everything together. If you think you've blended enough, blend for another five seconds. You can never blend too much. This is also going to mute the colors just a little bit, but it's really gonna make sure that you don't have any harsh lines, which is what we want. Now to finish it off, I'm moving on to blush. I am using the Milani Number no. 5 Luminoso blush. I'll be applying this with my Sigma F40. So I just go ahead and lightly apply this on my brush. I do my smile so I can see right where the apples of my cheeks are, and then just apply this right above my contour line. Now for my final step in highlighting, I'm just going to be using this Laura Geller highlighter and that brush came with it. It's a baked highlighter in the shade French Vanilla. So I am just going to apply this right above my blush line. Now using my favorite drugstore mascara, I am taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara and I believe this is in the shade Black Brown and I'm just applying this to the base of my lashes and then wiggling up to the very end. I also decided to hear that I wanted to add a little highlight on my cupid's bow. And of course, down the center of my nose. Now getting to my favorite part about fall makeup, of course, is the lips. So I am taking this Revlon Matte Lip Pencil in this shade Sultry, and I'm just going to make an X at my cupid's bow, and then outline the rest of my lips, and then fill it in from there. I do have some scars on my lips from playing hockey as a kid, so I find this is the easiest way to get a really perfect lip shape. Now for my final step in my eye look, I'm taking this Sigma pencil brush and I am just going to add a dark shade underneath my lower lash line. I like doing this at the end because I like doing it after I've already done my mascara so it doesn't smudge anything. And I'm actually just taking the darkest shade that we use, which was that marbleized color, and just putting that right underneath my lower lash line. Okay, now that I am all dressed and ready and in my outfit, I am ready to go to my mother-in-law's birthday dinner. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope that this is something that you can do and recreate yourself. Um, as some of you may know, I actually haven't been on YouTube for a couple months. I've been kind of MIA, so I'm sorry if you've been waiting for any updated videos or anything like that. Life and personal and work and everything has just been crazy and I honestly just haven't had a free moment and even when I have done my makeup it's either been for a special occasion and I haven't had time or I haven't really done my makeup that well so I didn't really want to film that I guess um, so thanks for waiting for this new updated video and I promise I'll I'll try and get some new videos out but since I do have a full-time job and I just do YouTube for fun unfortunately I don't have all the free time in the world to film. I wish I did. Oh, I wish I could do this just for my job, but mama's got to pay the bills, so that's not sustainable. So if you did like this video and if you would like to see more videos or if you have any suggestions, definitely give it a thumbs up or leave your comments down below on anything you'd like me to do in the future. I always love hearing um, suggestions and things like that. So you can also tweet me 
I'll leave my Twitter handle right here. Feel free to tweet me if you saw this video and you liked it, or again, if you have any other suggestions. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.